Yeah, indeed. Uh, they are... I'm not entirely sure who that's against. Um, let me just remember. Uh, it'll be against France, right? I, uh, yeah, it is going to be yeah. indeed against France. It will be against France. Uh, that will be the next match in about 45 minutes, but right now, started starting 14 minutes ago, we have another match, uh, which is going to be Philippines versus South Korea happening as we speak, so we're going to be switching over to that real quick. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. We're already seeing uh, the other winner's bracket match right here. And it, it is between uh, South Korea and Philippines right here. It's gonna be pretty intense as we see it. It looks like they haven't actually got into the the actual maps yet. see the, the further uh, confirmation for if the bands were done and looks like they have already have a one of the team bands so we're gonna have a little bit of a confirmation which one so Sakuri will be banning yet again Chilton Wall to attempt the uh, map by Nibret and Philippines will be banning Luda and Bodies probably love the first okay. band we've seen yeah but um I mean definitely one of the the harder of the LN maps. Or well, I guess the, the more uncomfortable one, at least. Yeah. I guess so far, Chilton World of Sam has been 100% so yeah. far. I'm Correct not me. sure if we're gonna see that at all. Actually, I think it's not very likely at all to see it at all, right? Because Japan just banned it. Yeah, yeah. And they're in the next match as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess uh, everyone's kind of like intimidated to how Chilton Mok uh, kind of constructs in the sense of his. So it's actually quite, pretty fair for this event, but yet again, it's just a matter where everyone practices or not. It will be interesting to see because Edit Strike is still open and like, out of the open, so it might have just go with Philippines uh, trying to bank it on SB, but then yet again, South Korea. Basically, have all still all ground coverage for every skill set, and Philippines also now slash. Looks like Philippines are gonna pick Hellfire first, mm. which is interesting. I don't, I don't know if I, yeah, I, I kind not, I'm not kind of sure because I think they banned move that body, so they this did. going for the so easier they... LN pick. Yeah, okay. so they, they ban move that body, but they are picking Hellfire first, so probably just really, really don't want to burst South Korea on those, uh, the accuracy release oriented LNs, but happy to take the chance on the, the easier one, more yeah. inverse focus. Or, part, or partly the mapper is from the uh, original PH as well. <laughs> That is true. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, instead of getting adopted to Australia, so I guess so that's fine too. That's fine. <laughs> but either way, it looks like we're going to get into it straight away. We have Wanda, Nausicaa, and Sudden Death for South Korea. Kura, Arquin, Olivirus, and Boji for the Philippines. Yeah, I... I'm not sure if South Korea um, having kind of like the best lineup for LN so far. I believe like like we have Nausicaa, which we could kind of like play for the all round all around side of things as a business, but we'll see. Small advantage for South Korea, it looks like. It's so, really uh, tiny though. Going yeah, back it's quite a lot. No save uh, difference at all because there's basically just high, uh, kind of like uh, almost a route. 
Yeah, it looks like all players actually have really similar accuracies. Everyone in the 99.5 range, except for one, who's holding close to 99.7. But Nausicaa and Sudden Death! Oh, Sudden Death, that's a the mess! Same time. That's a big one! That's, that's two a big misses. one as well. Two misses for, for South Korea at the same time there. And now Philippines have a huge advantage. They really need to hold on to this one now. Yes, only Wonder being kept from combo, I think, you know, just basing off that, uh, that carry, but it seems like Philippines have a very solid average in terms of accuracy. Yeah, these accuracies from the Philippines are definitely not bad at all. These are really solid accuracies. So as long as they manage to keep the combo, they're going to manage to to win out over this map, but the lead is looking really small okay, right now. It's well. looking really oh, dangerous. Yeah. Oh, the Kura is at the very end! Oh, the Kura as That's... well! Ooh. South Korea gonna take it back <laughs> right at the end! Oh my god! 10,000 points! Just really the difference! Close. Wow! Point wow, as just well! At the end. And Wanda's accuracy, 990,000 points. Only seven 200s. Everyone's uh, 200 count from South Korea are just like the sub-11. They're only 11, 10, and 7, respectively. Even though with FC, with Boji as well, the 200 is a bit too much for him. Every no, no sweat taking away. an air strike. <laughs> Hang on a second. Hang on a second. A South Korea I... banned SB, then picked SB. I Philippines banned L and picked L. Hold on, some back with it. Yeah. <laughs> the order is reversed here. It looks like they pick, they ban something, and they pick that category as well. We're, we're reaching that kind of point where. The bands and the pigs are at the similar category. But then yet again, if they're comfortable with that, you can just go. And like we yet again, move buddy. Yeah. yeah. We have uh, elves in for the Philippines, and it looks like they're swapping out one more player. I don't know if that's actually uh, such a good idea though, because Blue Bloody was not probably like the main SB player, it looks like, because I feel like the. In quarterfinals, we see lots of spices and Blue Blade tanks so hard. Oh, I do remember and, that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and I don't know if it's actually Day a good pick either. Oh, yeah, Seattle Day, not, ex uh, not, ex uh, not surprisingly for Philippines because Seattle is also the main FC player. Uh, especially for L play as well. Kind of Okay, uh, looks like we... Okay, we're still getting the same plays, they just swapped around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty interesting pick. Although I do say that I don't like this pick from South Korea at all, since the last round, Lost of Spice wasn't that hot either. Since they kind of like having a lot of difficulties for the other players, but we'll see for NSP. Maybe in the sense that they're pretty comfortable with this, so they can just pull up amazing stuff. Yeah, looks like we're getting in any second now.
yeah, signaling the MP start, and we should be seeing that. Uh, actually, no one with the mirror mod as well, and yeah, I guess pretty expected because this is nowhere in my block list, nearly in every single level. Before. But then yet again, SB is tested here, so beware, beware if there's any slip up for every player in the lobby. And a compulsion to do something about it. So far, the score is tied. Oh, a few 200s dropping right there from the Philippine side. Looks like Kuro struggling with accuracy a little bit, dropping below 99. I think, I think Nostica so, might as well, it's dropping a little bit less. Oh, yeah. Still no combo drops yet. Kind of getting to the meat of the SVs too. This accuracy is now starting to drop really hard. Kuro is now starting to drop below 98. And this lead is building up to South Korea just because of this accuracy. Yeah, no one's holding 99 in the Philippines at all. So this is gonna be a pretty huge difference as well. Yeah. All three accuracies on South Korea are better than all three of the accuracies on Philippines. So Philippines really need to hope for some either gigantic accuracy drops or just combo drops straight straight up. Already being a solid foundation of the support difference right now. Uh, in, in, I mean, I mean, like they're still holding the FCs over, which is not bad for the for the sake of the lead. But then yet again, the sole difference in between accuracy are a bit too much here to catch up, and South Korea is dominating in that sense. Yeah, South Korea now with this lead is pretty huge at the moment. And yeah, I was like kind of worried for a second that this is actually going to be a bad pick, but then yet again, South Korea proved us wrong with this pick. We, we do get uh, six full combos though in the lobby. Yeah, that's actually also impressive. But then yet again, you already see uh, a total of 37 200s from South Korea, but then yet again, if you look over the Philippines, that's basically triple the amount. And we'll see what Philippines want to pick now. South Korea are 2 0 up now. Yeah, uh, already a solid position for South Korea. Now Philippines will try to uh, maybe try to pick up some points out of the other picks. I think uh, with Hellfire might have been really close. Maybe Alec get the S could be safe. Like uh, we did on like Japan versus Italy. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, they almost took Hellfire, so maybe they decide to go with the Rav LM map again. <laughs> yeah. Possibility, maybe, maybe or they, can, or, they, or they can just go with a uh, serious crap, so that they, uh, they can actually just banking attack three misses. That's also a good one. Serious crap. Yeah, you, you, should, you, should, you should, you should, have, you should, you should have dodged the swearing room. Like, uh, what do you it, mean? I, I guess it's not. I'm a, just it's, saying it's, the it's, name of the map. It's a song title. It's a song title. I mean, it's it's not it's not the big deal for it, but then but then yet again, you should consider that the fact that this is also a PG thirteen stream as well. I mean, you can just read it on the screen. It's just, it's right there. Well, yeah, yeah, but you did you you don't pronounce it on the screen. But there, there you go. Okay, it looks like our Arj is coming in, and we're gonna get, uh, get Ali Ajaktor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Arj is 
uh, probably more into a long little player this time around, and then yet again, we already see our yeah. consistency of Alan being extremely good. So, taking Alan in the S could be a, a good trip. Wonder if we're gonna get sudden death back in here. And oh, it looks like it's gonna be Hikinori actually for South Korea. Okay, so we should yeah. get into this. Now this is definitely a map that Philippines want to win. They lost their, their own first pick, so losing a second one so soon is going to be really bad for them in this situation. So yeah, in that sense, it is also very early that we're going to say that all LNs and SVs were pure LNs and SVs were already being picked or banned, so there's only a high risk and that's all I can say, because move that body was banned, Hellfire was big, and this one is big. That is true. It's actually the fastest possible you can do it. <laughs> Which pretty yeah. much never happens. Yeah, but there's, <laughs> no, there's yeah. no doubt that you're very confident with something. But then again, it's just a matter of tournament nerves. So far, it looks like actually Philippines with a really small accuracy lead. Hikinari is struggling with the accuracy so far, below 99%. But Sudden Death and Wonder yeah. having the highest accuracy in the room. And I'm also kind of curious why uh, they can't swap in Nausicaa, because I think even with uh, Nausicaa with uh, Miss and the Hellfire, this is like some of the pieces up, but this doesn't look like it has a pretty tricky time in either. Uh, the accuracy just dropped down to below 98.5 for Hikanai right there, which means yeah, the accuracy now, is in favor of the And now also uh, Wonder and Sun that uh, accuracy dropping down to about the same as the, the other Philippines members. So Philippines now have a really solid accuracy lead. And yet again, Solid average in the Philippines, but then if they can keep up until the very end of the chart, then it could just be also as well a point for them. But really, it comes down to like the projects, really, they messed up. But then yet again, it's, the difference, I guess, is too big. So to compensate for that, I guess the missing on the one key one is actually not a big problem. Looks like the, the lead is just kind of staying the same here. Everyone's holding the same accuracy. Now Wonder and Hikinari slowly building up their accuracy over the second half. Oh, no one missing on that last quad. And so Philippines are actually going to take their own point this time. Taking one back off of South Korea. Just a solid team score overall from Philippines there. Yeah. Six six full combos again. Yeah. It's all six players in Thai Lobby getting full combo, but then again, the difference between accuracy is just going to be a full one, really. 20,000 points for Philippines, which Philippines have an edge on this chart uh, for having health. We're going to see a really quick. Uh, absurd gas pick from South Korea. Mm, I guess they kind of were expecting it from like the very uh, late of it, very late of the match. Yeah, absurd gas is kind of like this gear pick out of out of all out of all things. So picking up kind of like early on after where every resource of L and is kind of frying out. It's it's something. It's something. Yeah, so this will be the first uh, first rice map we do see of this match, at least.
Just waiting to get the client sorted. We did show the, the wrong map in the corner. <laughs> Uh, this is not the seven key world cup. We can't have seven yeah. key maps being played. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're playing four key uh, in seven key. So that, that's something else. The Hang seven a key skill, but you're actually playing four <laughs> key. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> what? Seven key map, but only four of the columns actually have notes. Yeah, the other three is like a dump away. <laughs> Anyway, as a reminder for everyone in the Twitch chat, be sure to check out the O Store for purchasing the banners for your favorite teams. Uh, they are still remaining in, in the tournament as well. And if you do, and you uh, the team for to to win uh, for the first place in the uh, Osmania 14 World Cup 2019, you get to keep the banner as long as for the next tournament. Yeah, definitely go check them out. Support any of your teams. That, uh, that are still in the World Cup, of course. That does include both of the ones you see on your screens now. Yeah, don't purchase Indonesian banner or Australian banner because they are not on the screen yet again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, same. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's a fact, that's a fact right yeah. there. You, you should probably purchase something that you're, uh, they're not on the screen or not on the screen. Okay, it looks like we're finally getting into this map. South Korea is picked this time on the Jack map. We'll see uh, who gets the mind block the most, as it is a very a chart that is very mind blockable. At, at, in a sense that it could just drop everywhere. Looks like we're getting Kalkai in for this as well. Fair enough, I guess for a pick uh, that is just dense, maybe. We'll see, but. So far, it actually looks like small accuracy lead going over to the Philippines. Boji holding an extremely high accuracy right now, 99.92. Uh, how how oh. do you accuracy that? <laughs> oh. Actually, Kalkai Ooh. finding the first miss. Name, uh, I, don't, I don't really know because I, th I think at this point, really, which. Uh, the drops coming out would just be most likely uh, from the consistency of the mind loss looks like. But then again, you see Philippines like having a pretty solid performance overall with Boji still hanging on that seriously. Kind of dropping a little bit there. Yeah, Wonder also right behind Boji, just hitting that 99.9 again as well. It really is just that miss, it looks like, that is uh, holding Philippines ahead at the moment. Still not a, not a, not exactly uh, the big lead that we've seen throughout, but then yet again, it's just like a miss, really. But drops are coming out a little bit more frequent this time around, but then yet again, the difference solely just because of the miss. Oh, Hikinari and Arquin both creating misses there. But that's going to be the trade. I don't know if yeah. that's enough to change the lead. It looks like there's yeah. a little bit of accuracy drop from the Philippines as well. Lead's kind of not going anywhere, but Kuro finding, finding a miss. Ooh. Kuro finding now a miss. Only Boji, yeah. Bo only Boji and one of those uh, with the uh, FC's attack. South Korea at the very end just slightly taking that. It looks like Boji's going to get the MVP for this actually as well. Yeah. Two score v1 double s's, almost yeah, well, three actually. <laughs> Kalka as well, but okay, we're only right there. Yeah. Does look like South Korea is going to take their third point though. Yeah, very solidly in uh, favor of South Korea. Although it's just like very close difference in terms of score right there.
in the Philippines are going to get their uh, their choice of pick now. No more LN maps for them to go to. So we'll see if yeah. they want to go for some of the, the hybrid. Well, I think Acid Burst could be decent, since it's just like probably one of the most answer ones so far, or probably Ascar. Anything for Promise Up for South Korea uh, could be single handedly winning the other picks. But then again, I feel like it's also very strong. Well. Yeah, we'll see what they decide to pick now. Taking kind of all the deliberate decisions, it's like, uh, I guess like Papa Yaba base was also kind of like the kind of a long road situation, but there's a little more high rate to that. And it's also one of the, I don't know, okay. probably like no one I've seen so far. Looks like they're gonna go with Ego. Mm, Alright. So we're gonna see that's, one of those hybrids, okay. definitely one that has some significant LN sections in it. Yeah, that's a fair pick actually. It's uh it's 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 okay. I thought it like uh this is probably a better one, but I can't really think of anything. Okay, looks like we are going to get a swap in from South Korea. Kikinari. Yeah, uh, he kind of hurry for. Well, I guess. Replaced by sudden death, it looks like. Mm, uh, I guess it's also fair because I think the the, the amount of like along with the ego as well is it. It's a pretty tough one to do. So sudden death having in is also a very decent one to handle. It looks like Kalkai is going to be staying in for this one. As well as... Looks like the same players from the Philippines as well. Looks like we're just waiting for everyone to ready up. Oh, looks like uh, Blue Body is actually coming in instead of Kalkai for South Korea now. Not quite. I guess like uh, Blue Body in that in that sense, it could be it could be good at a very dense answer stuff. So I don't know. Probably like the other South Korean players from might not be that comparable as it seems. Yeah, then we're getting into the map now. And we'll see, this is Philippines pick, so they're going to be looking to take another point on the board. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, they're picking actually in favor for the Philippines here. So far it looks like, oh, actually Blue Body oh, with the first, what? couple of first misses yeah. there. Philippines are yeah. going to take the, the lead at the start now. Aquin yeah, missing back. 
Yeah. Accuracy drops from Blue Bloody though look like it's going to be enough for Philippines to save a slight lead. Yeah, still kind of like a little bit of a mistrade, but then yet again the Atkins is on more of a favorable position right now. <laughs> Philippines is still keeping their lead, but now we're getting into these LN heavy sections, and the yeah. lead has just disappeared in an accuracy drops from Philippines. I am not manhandling this two transitions here. And now Korea is just starting to take the lead just through accuracy alone. Wonder's accuracy is still so insane. 99.8. Be coming up to the no one end, end the as end. well. Whoa. South Korea managed to edge back on the accuracy. I can see. Yeah, and that would take us well for the second break point for South Korea here. We'll see that quarter with 992k, almost 993. You already see from the sheer difference, really. I guess the accuracy with in which the drops were even coming up in the Philippines, which costing it a little bit too much, but the difference was still very close to see. And we're going to get acid burst. South Korea. South Korea's Ooh. really been picking different maps each time. It's not it's not really been a, a category that they've stuck to at all. It's completely different maps. And of course uh, it is not Rocket that is being played. <laughs> yeah. That's that's not even a mania map. <laughs> it's it's always been the the map card, which is always wrong, kind of wrong. But it happens. Yeah, so we'll just get a quick restart on that one. Yeah, a little bit of a technical issues on the side. Uh, back to the match later on. Yeah, it is going to be a an interesting one. This. One. Uh, I guess in the sense it could be interesting. Yeah, but I guess the acid burst is more into where the denser charge itself. So. South Korea may, might, might be handling more denser stuff as well. I guess the. Because I feel denser stuff might not be the forte for uh, Philippines. Okay, it looks like we're back. Sweet, quick, quick back, and we'll see. Yeah. We're getting a return of Norsica to the lobby. Yeah, I guess not. Nausicaa, yeah. Nausicaa and Blue would be um, a, a decent swap here, just for the dead stuff. We have been keeping the same Philippines roster for a few maps now. <laughs> yeah, look, 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 it's well, it's, so. Yeah, it's pretty solid, and again, uh, it would just be like a three man roster that is basically for every single pick. It's pretty much basically all around it, except for like SPs. Right the gates, so it looks like we got some accuracy drops from Kura and Arquin. 
the other player is still holding yeah. pretty strong. Not manhandling this transition very well because it's really fast. And one crew with the first miss coming in. South Korea is going to start to build quite a very decent lead now. Accuracies from South Korea still holding really strong. We actually have a uh, Boji in one with basically yeah. the same act at the moment. <laughs> Their accuracy just kind of like tying up a little bit there. But it's not enough for. The Philippines to make up the score gap. There is the accuracy and combo running point towards South Korea. Getting into the last uh, kind of third of the map. The last third of the map is gonna actually ooh that's right here. And ooh Arquin finding a miss for the Philippines. Ooh. That's just a wonderful combo to bring now. Yeah, Sakura is still still kicking tight with three FCs there. Very solid performance with the rock. Yeah, and it looks like South Korea gonna be able to pick up their own point, their own pick on uh, on acid burst. Really solid performance from them. Just one two hundred from hey. Wonder. <laughs> I think it's one two hundred in a very tense map. <laughs> That's insane. Nine hundred ninety three thousand as well. That's the three way full combo. Whole team of South Korea. And now five to one is the current score line. Philippines do get their own pick. Yeah, this is a very tough situation for Philippines right now. I guess like uh, the other picks might have not have been that close either. But then yeah, like uh, looks like they've, they've run out of uh, picks that they kind of feels like they're they're running out of picks that they uh, they want to like have a very decent chance to win against South Korea. Yeah, Alan's are pretty scarce. And then yet again, they already have like one hybrid, which is on the path from the upper yeah. base and most of them. We're definitely yeah. running out of elements. Like Puppy Upper Base basically the the only like big uh map with like the most elements I would say left of the of the, mm, the rest yeah. of the field. Everything else is just Compared straight up there. Like there's like yeah. no element in half of all of these maps. Yeah. The the rise to element ratio is it's, it's quite big. But then again, you, you kind of want to have to get your higher risk, like picking Xenon, for example. You want to pick Rust. But then yet again, you could. There's like a lot of rice there. <laughs> like, uh, there's, some, there's something else that you can consider too. Gonna see what the Philippines exactly decide to, to pick. We are gonna actually see Papaya for base. Mm, yeah, this is this is actually a decent pick at the very least because there's no other pick left for that. It's very viable. Yeah. Of the uh, of the remaining picks, definitely one of the the best ones. Hmm. I'm not I'm not entirely the most fond of this chart either because I feel like uh not not entirely paying attention to the playable base in particular. So I'm just gonna eyeball that the this this hybrid is probably like the one of the easier ones by far. 
I'm not entirely sure that the their patterning itself is kind of like pretty much in favor of Philippines. I guess uh, there's a uh, there's quite of a, like an, an interpretation of like the long that's being tested here uh, for for this particular hybrid. I, I yeah. wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised either. Yeah, so, sudden death definitely uh, one of the the big LN players for South Korea. Looks like we're just sinking up a little bit here. <laughs> Looks like a little bit of a... Well, you know, sort of like that does happen. Some of death happens in the a little bit there. But then yet again, you'll see everyone now. And see. Yeah. Looks like pretty even, but uh, L's uh, dropping accuracy a bit below everyone else. Only one below 99 at the moment, but still time to catch up. Actually, a miss Ooh. from Wonder. Uh, I think that's the first miss so far from Wonder the entire game. And mm, oh, not 100% sure. Like it's gonna be yeah. It doesn't look like it's enough for Philippines to take the lead, but it's definitely shortening the gap. Yeah, actually, Wonder has like lower, the lowest score in South Korea right now. <laughs> Just by looking at it. But then yeah. yet again, you would, just, you would see Elsa is also struggling with the score either, so the difference is kind of nullified a little bit. Yeah, it's just this accuracy difference from Elsa at the moment that's really uh, keeping South Korea in the lead. But one more miss maybe from South Korea could shift it towards the Philippines' favor. Everyone holding on pretty solidly at the moment, Elsa actually bringing up that combo. Yeah, uh, which is very fun actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're very solid throughout the even the even with the water miss and Elsa as well. Yeah. With where MC is still intact on the entire lobby and that would be another point for South Korea. Potential match point for them. Yeah, even with that miss, that's still a 980k for Wonder. <laughs> like, uh, the, even he got like, uh, the more bad judgments than the actual two punches. <laughs> and Wolf with speed picking. Speed Ooh. picking for South Korea, instantly going after more so. <laughs> yeah. And this is, of course, match point for South Korea as well. So South Korea just need one more point in order to win this match, and Philippines are going to need to mount a big comeback winning the next five to bring it to tie Yeah, it is, it is definitely a very difficult task to, to win like five straight points. <laughs> Just to put it up as a tiebreaker because all the remaining six left are just not, not, uh, not in more favor of Philippines either. So it's kind of like a, a big hit right now.
Okay, it looks like we're getting a few swaps coming in here. Gonna get Kalkai coming in for sudden death. For the, the more rice oriented maps. Uh, Hikanari also subbing in for Nausicaa. It looks like we're gonna see one yeah. more swap. Kura coming this in. Kura, yeah, indeed. Interesting swap. I'm not entirely sure because I think Hikanari and Kalkai are most likely favorite sort of like rise, most likely. Yeah, uh, so or in far, terms of like raw speed. They definitely seem like more rice players in the South Korean roster. Should be getting into the map very shortly. Yeah, we're getting into it. Uh, potential last point as well for South Korea, and they do. They will. Uh, they will move on to the final squares bracket to face Brazil if they manage to do so. But if Philippines get this point. It will be another four points to go for a tiebreaker. Well, right at the start, Kalkai finding a drop really early. Yeah. The leader's still going back and forth. There were some accuracy drops from Kura as well. But it looks like Philippines are going to start to edge out a slight lead. Oh. I don't know how many of those were actually misses. Um, it looks like Kura <laughs> did miss though. Only did one miss. Or Arquan Arquan also Arquan also finding a miss there. Yeah, I'm trading off a little bit. I think Kalke missed the very hard. It also doesn't impact its score difference at all. Yeah, so now South Korea is starting to build quite a big lead. Hikanari though finding a drop back. Accuracy is still uh, very decent though. On all members yeah. of South Korea, 99.91. The one that oh, he drops it a little bit. He can already finding another drop though, and now the lead Ooh. is starting to get really small. Yeah, but I guess the Philippines already have their combo bonus, and Canary kind of building that uh, combo back up. But then yet again, I think this Georgia's might have been hitting a lot around like six six thousand right now. It's not kind of climbing back in. Really tricky, uh, difficult first in his long nose. And now the score lead is gonna get really small. It's really difficult. It it's only like around 3k there right now. Yeah, there might be it might enough. Be enough. The scores are flickering right now. Yeah, Philippines have the tiniest of leaves, but Aquan misses. Oh, missing. Ooh, that's not good. And that's gonna trade it back. They need one more miss from South Korea if they wanna take back the lead. But I'm not sure if it's gonna come at all. Yeah. Picking our back to combo bonus as well, and needs to fight a uh, like, couple of misses at this point, but then yeah, again, the summons comes to a close here, and that looks like B, aside Korea's another point as well, bringing up to 7 to 1. Yeah. South Korea end up taking the 7th point, and they'll win the match against the Philippines. South Korea are gonna move on. This was actually, uh, of course, a winner's bracket match. So South Korea are going to move on to the winners finals, I believe, against Brazil yeah. next week. Yes, indeed. And Philippines will be moving down to final losers bracket. They're still not at a tournament yet, but they will have to face the opponent or whoever is in the losers bracket. Yeah, I think um, I'm not sure what what is Philippines versus. Has that been the mm, I'm, gonna... mm, I'm, I'm gonna check a little was bit. That the win was that the winner of USA versus China, just from the top of my head? Mm, it's, it's probably gonna be like a Philippines. Uh... Hold on. I mean, I mean, let me check the schedule. Mm. Mm. 